New at five, a bill barring anyone in Oklahoma from changing the gender on their birth certificate is moving forward at the state capitol. Fox 23 weekend anchor Rick Marinon is live to explain why even though Governor Stitt signed an order banning changes to birth certificates two years ago, some lawmakers feel like a law needs to be passed. Apparently some judges have reached out to lawmakers saying they would like some clarity and some solid positions within the law on this issue before they rule on it. And that is why they feel they need to make the governor's order permanent law. More Republican State Representative Kevin West says even with an executive order in place, the law needs to plainly state there will be no gender changes to birth certificates in Oklahoma. If, if a male transitions to a female or vice versa, no matter how many surgeries or drugs uh, they are taking, they are still what they were at the beginning. West says in addition to some concerns by doctors, the Oklahoma State Department of Health has no real way to make the change, even if ordered by a judge. Fox 23 checked with OSDH. Their current policy is that a change can be made only if there is a legitimate typo error. If you were able to switch this and there was a medical emergency, like I said, there are some drugs and procedures that cannot be done on males that can be on females and vice versa. The bill which passed out of committee along party lines Tuesday is the second bill by West restricting state action on LGBT issues. Last week, his bill to ban the flying of rainbow flags and Pride Month celebrations at state agencies also passed out of committee. It is time to stop this nonsense. It is time to stop encumbering our state government and our individuals who are just trying to exist and live their lives. I think that this bill is, is an example of, over, of government overreach. Democrats accused West of bullying a small section of the population, trying to live as their true selves. Norman Democrat State Representative Jared Deck says someone could possibly run into issues when getting a new driver's license or passport, and even a smaller group of intersex people who require corrective surgery for birth defects could be forced to live with the wrong identifier. Children who are born intersex, mm -hmm. meaning their genitalia may be indistinguishable at the time of birth, and if a doctor makes a, dis makes a, a call on that and happens to be incorrect and that is found later later on this could have a negative effect for the remainder of their lives LGBTQ advocacy group Freedom Oklahoma said this is an attack on people just trying to live their lives and they will try to fight this as best as they can. It now moves to the full house for consideration next month. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.